Hello and welcome back to our little YouTube extravaganza. After some glorious weather last week and then some horrific thunderstorms and torrential rain, we're off again, having survived that, for a little... Where are we going? <laughs> well, we are heading north to Cumbria, but on the way I've spotted a little hidden gem for £13 a night at a campsite and I'm really excited about going. How very intriguing. It is. Um, I'm liking the £13 a night bit. Is that like full luxury pitch, everything? It's, well, it's a campsite. It's got facilities and uh, and it's in a beautiful location with lots of walks. So I have high hopes for this one. She didn't answer my question, did she? Well, fair. I don't know. That's the whole point. I don't know. Oh, but it's at a farm and they have lots of pork for sale. So I think oink, some oink. sausages are on the way. Yes. We like a good sausage. <laughs> I set you up with these things. You love a sausage, don't, don't you? First thing in the morning. That's last enough, thing at that's night. enough. Hope we don't meet anybody coming the other way. I did say it was narrow. Yeah, we took in bushes on the Palm trees. Oh, big bump. Okay, we're in the middle of nowhere, so I don't know where we are. Well, we're staying at Halls Villa Campsite. Halls? Halls Villa Campsite. Hull. And it's named because we're out next to Halls Water, which is the largest natural lake in Lancashire. And we're in the Arnside and Silverdale area of natural beauty. Easy for you to say. And it truly is. It is stunning location. Is it a hidden gem, as you promised me, though? Well, it is on quite a number of counts. And maybe it isn't on quite a number of other counts. Depends who you ask. I'm always uh, very upbeat about things. <laughs> I'm glass half full. You're definitely glass half drained. Rude. Find show in the smallest of things that is what we found in you. Oh, 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 you are joy. Never give up. So, my hidden gem is in a beautiful look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that did so right. Tell everyone about your hidden gem. You're, you've got it on the, on the brain. Jane's hidden gem shall remain a secret. <laughs> God. Right, this campsite is a hidden gem <laughs> because um, of its location. We haven't heard um, any traffic for a long time and it is a beautifully quiet place to be. We have had some lovely walks in the area and we've had a chance to do some wildlife photography. Yes, because I'm your typical all the gear no idea. So I've spent a fortune on gear and took some really crappy photographs and video. Just have to believe. Oh, 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 you are faith. There will be those who try to. 
to bring hate, but love will turn the heart around. Oh, 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 you are love. Right, chicken, I think you're going to have to move. Otherwise, Bud's going to have you. Go on, Bud. <laughs> so, this morning, we had an early start. You saw a massive cock, didn't you? No, yes, it was a massive me. cock. We were woken up by a very noisy old bird. Woken up by a big cock. And it was very noisy. Uh, <laughs> nice little alarm clock, it's about half past six. Farm life. So we're off now to Trow Barrow Nature Reserve, which is just a short walk down the lane, really. Just to clarify, we're talking about a cockadoodle do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Just thought you might clarify <laughs> that, not because there's no massive cocks other no, than that. definitely them. not. Oh, rude. Right, Delia, what are you whizzing up for tea? Tonight we are having Gloucestershire Old Spot Pig. Burgers that the farm make and it's a rare breed and it says that we've got to carry on eating them otherwise they won't have the breed anymore and um, they will die out. Well, Sorry, surely if we just eat them all, they'll be extinct. Oh, no, because they breed them. It's part of the conservation project. Well, what they're breeding that one? No, this one's well dead. Well, those burgers were amazing. They're I, very tasty. I don't think I'd have a beef burger again. The pork burgers were lovely. Like. No, they were No gristle, nothing like that. Yeah, tasty. Very well cooked, love. Oh, thank you. Pink job. Filling out my cup, coffee talk on the screen porch. So in love, now you're the one I'm losing sleep for. And I hope the wrong one slip right through your magic fingers. And I hope we find some way to fall in love like we were. Because it's so lovely and we're here for four days, we're getting brushed up on our camera skills. Andrew's got himself a new macro lens, which you can just hear like clicking there. Like a machine then. gun. So go on, you've got a new macro lens. Well, it's a second-hand macro lens because uh, YouTube doesn't pay that much so I can buy a new lens. So I've bought a second-hand macro lens. So what have you taken a picture of? This beautiful, stunning uh, dahlia. You don't even know what it is, do you? I don't. It's a yellow flower. It's a poppy. I thought poppies were red. There's yellow ones as well. Ah, I'm a bit doubtful. And I have my little TG6, which I bought for three reasons. Firstly, because it's unbreakable and you can drop it, apparently. Second, it works underwater. And third, it's got a really good macro and it uh, takes really nice photographs. So we're going to have, so we're going to have a macro off. Are you ready for your macro off? Mm, not really. It's because you know I'm going to win. I might change my settings a bit. Laying in this bed without you, 
just got me lonely and missing your touch This campsite has cost us £13. It does have a toilet and a shower, and the shower is quite cute. I did like it, very attractive on the inside. Like and you. Thank you. That's the nicest thing he's said to me for ages. <laughs> It's a nice waterfall shower. The temperature was okay. I wouldn't like to use it if it was any colder outside. But it's an added bonus for £13 a night. I went this morning to have a shower and course there was already somebody in. Now, the site, I don't know how many people it takes. There's at least seven pictures where we are and there's an overflow. So if there's two people in it, every one of them pictures during summer, then, you know, you might have a bit of a wait for a shower and a toilet. But it's a, I guess it's a little bonus for a 13 quid stop. Now the toilet itself is quite cute. Chickens are scratching at the door. And I just find it really weird. You can see through. And I just don't feel comfortable when a wee when people can see through. Shower's the same. Can you see me? Yes, I can see the tattoo on your bum. <laughs> Fiver. Now for Mister, it's not a gem. The curbside appeal probably leads a bit to be desired. Now we were warned that on site there was some construction going on. They're building a, a family home. But overall the environment, it's not camping and caravan club, club site, put it that way. But let's remember it's £13 a night if you don't have electric hookup. So £13 a night, it's value for money. However, if it's £21 a night, because that's how much it is if you choose the electric hookup, I'm not so sure that's value for money, given the time of year at least anyway, because there's no way we're going to spend £8 on electric when all we're doing is running a fridge. For some people, that may make it a bit cost prohibitive, because £13 fair anymore, I don't think it is. Other little bonuses, it's got fresh water, as you'd expect. It's got an Elson and a grey water disposal but not a drive over so you'll have to bucket it or put it in a container or whatever big bonus was the wi-fi i did a speed check when we arrived and it were like 200 megabytes download and massive upload so i was chuffed to bits however later on it were none so it's either brrr, super fast or none it's a bit frustrating we managed to stream uh, a film like a Netflix thing but it were buffering and off and on and off and on there's no mobile phone signal for us up there either so we use EE this is the first time I've never had any 4G or any phone signal even um, so you are a bit reliant on their Wi-Fi but that's what you get when you're after a hidden gem yes the, the internet's point. hidden yes but the site itself is obviously in a very remote place and um, it's up to you whether you value the service or you don't. So is it a campsite or is it a camper stop? That is the question. So there's obviously places for you to come for a night or two, as we have done. Or four. There are places for caravan storage in amongst places where you would go and camp. And there are some people that look to have been there a while. Seasonal. Seasonal. But there don't seem to be any clear defined spaces, so um, it, it, it confuses me. I don't know whether I'm at a campsite or, a, or I don't know whether I'm at a camper stop. So I'm taking it as an overnight stop, uh, therefore it's value for money. And the only downside for us in that scenario is that the people who've been there a while um, are also very familiar with the site and comfortable and they let the dogs go off free and, you know, stop up quite late enjoying the sunshine outside it's been getting on my wig right because i was trying to i was trying to be i know tactful. well i'm not being tactful look if you've got dogs keep them on a lead if you're camping and stuff and you've got your dog like we do on a piece of chain from amazon for a fiver pegged to a tent peg so it don't go off the pitch that's what you should do it's cheap and easy dogs wandering about coming over to the pitch growling and barking and being a general pain in the arse i'm I, it just gets on my wick there's no need for it and that's one of the downsides i found to this place mm -hmm. but 
that might just because we came and it's 23 degrees and everyone sat out loving life with a can of Stella. And we have a reactive dog, which doesn't help. But their dogs have been yapping and barking. It does my head in. I just want to. I, I just want to have a bit of peace and quiet. So there you go. That's my rant of the day. Keep your dogs on a lead and pick up after them. Then don't fling the bag in the trees. Well, we haven't seen that. We haven't seen that. No, I'm just on one now. I'm just. I'm just. Yeah, I'm okay. free, freestyling. Let's get back to the case in point. So we started this vlog with me hoping to go to a hidden gem, and the question is. Is it really a hidden gem? I hope to go to a hidden gem. Um, for me, it has been a hidden gem. It needs a little bit of polishing to make it shine, but it really has been a gem for me. For me, I just think it's a value for money overnight stop. I don't think it's a gem. It's hidden, it's down in a, rem a remote place, but the two things it's got going for it are £13 a night and it's next to this environment. So if you want to do a little bit of walking and photography or whatever, dead easy. Also, if you're not great on your pins, it's not far to get here and you can have a little potter about. It's not challenging. But it, uh, to me, it's not a hidden gem. It won't be in my top 10 list of places to go. Well, there you have it. You'll have to come on your own. A different... <laughs> And that may be what happens. Mm -hmm. A difference of opinion on this one. You've seen the footage, you can make your own mind up. And if you want to come and visit it, I'm sure they'd be welcome to see you. And you'll be all right. It's all right. It's 13 quid. And they do good sausages. Although we didn't get sausages this there time. There you go again, bringing sausage up. We had, we had burgers. Well, as always, thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed our little vlog, rant, whatever you want to call it. Tune in next time, because we've got one, maybe even two more, hidden gems to share with you as we get ready for our ever looming, exciting, balls European trip. See you soon. And keep up the banterful comments because it makes our day. I have to find something to laugh about during my mundane lifestyle. Oh, but stand still. And we'll leave you with a little montage of our macro photography, which you can either watch or switch off now. Oh no, not another YouTube montage. I want paradise, want sunshine, islands and beaches. Where no one has been, no magazine has told all its secrets. I feel the cold around the bed. I said, are you with me? If we leave now, we'll get away before these old bones, they start to end.